This is not work. This is fun. My name is Alex. My surname is Falk. And I'm in the photographic business and have been ever since I got my first camera at the age of 13. And I've been taking pictures ever since. I became the school photographer, as you do, and you become very confident. And I did wedding photography for a shop in Epsom. And they provided me with a Rolly Flex camera, or a Rolly Cord camera, a flash gun, and six rolls of film. And that would take 72 pictures. And unless 60 of them were usable, and they were all black and white, of course, I didn't get a job the following week. I had the opportunity of working in the Abbey, up at scaffolding, in taking pictures down the aisle and taking pictures of the actual coronation itself. We were camera corner originally because it was on a corner in the old town of Croydon. Camera, audio and discount. We had the agency for a lot of high-end audio. We got the smallest shop with the most stock. That's what we wanted. What do I think a picture is for? Memories. My grandparents had pictures. I've got pictures of my grandparents. I've got pictures of my parents. And of course, those are memories that cannot be erased, cannot be lost. It was a huge honor to go and have your photograph taken, right? I can show you an invoice from 1930, where the postage, I think, was threepence. The four pictures taken was, you know, like 15 shillings. But if you were only earning 21 shillings a week, 15 shillings was a lot of money. And in today's terms, that would be three or 400 pounds. So it's very, very important. We have the the good fortune to have got images that we can pass down to the next generation. This camera, Contessa Nettle, from 1930s, taking 127 film, and still available, still working beautifully. And or look through the viewfinder there. A collector's item, but he also usable. I taught a young um, boy, a father bought his son a camera from us. Must have been at Christmas time, I think it must have been. And um, he's a student at one of the schools around here. And he comes past here nearly every night in March or February, his father and the son came in and said he'd like to learn how to process a film now. So I've shown him how to process a film. He's bought a tank, he's bought the chemistry, and he's processed his first black and white film. He will hopefully be hooked on the idea of being an artist in photography there, because that's what they are. Right? Digital has created two things. First of all, most, it stops us being creative because we can take lots and lots of pictures, then sit at a computer and do the manipulation afterwards. Well, who's being the artist? You or Microsoft who produced the, the computer program? With real photography, where you get one negative, you can produce your print. You look at the image, you look at it, and you look at it again, and you look at it again, and you look at it again, and you say, it may be better off to have it this way. Um, uh, no, maybe not, we'll have it this way. Please understand, the people who've come into this business who want to make profits have gone out of the business. This isn't, you know, this is much more fun I enjoy solving people's problems. You're the future of photography. 
and that is you learn, you go and to use this digital, and then so all of a sudden you wake up one morning and think, I can be much more creative by taking less pictures, but better pictures. And then I think to myself, I tell you what, I'll get a film camera. And if you've only got a project and you've got 36 images in your camera, you've got to think about every image that you take. That way, hopefully, for your generation and for the next generation, they will teach better photography. Your age group, the young people, are coming back and using a camera, a real camera. Hopefully, we'll still be around to teach them being creative. That's what photography is about. That's all we do, is try and help.